We are on the storm watch tonight. Take a look at the damage left behind by a tornado that hit Dayton, Ohio last night. Block after block of damaged homes, some looking more like dollhouses with the roof completely gone. And it wasn't just Dayton hit by violent tornadoes. At least one person was killed by the bad weather that left destruction across Ohio and Indiana. Aerial footage shows the damage left behind in Salina, Ohio, where a suspected tornado was being blamed for the death of an elderly man after the wind blew a car into his house overnight. It's part of a string of twisters that moved through Ohio, demolishing homes and uprooting trees. From the air, it just looks absolutely horrible. You see not only roofs of houses off, but you see just everything just like splintered. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the power of uh, a tornado is you just can't believe it until you see it. Near Dayton, people work to clear the debris. The sheriff's department says the storms left many roads impassable. West of Dayton and Brookville, the sun rose to reveal the massive destruction. It was, it was kind of an eerie feeling. You had kind of the ear pressure kind of changed in your ears, and then you heard, we heard a lot of glass breaking, and then it just sounded like a freight train. That's a pretty big one, man. Twisters also touched down across Indiana. Federal officials say preliminary reports show more than 50 tornadoes may have touched down Monday across eight states in the midsection of the country. In Grant County, Indiana, tornado victims salvaged what they could. In Pendleton, where storms damaged at least 75 homes, the cleanup has already begun. And as we hear a lot after a hurricane, residents are being urged to stay inside. That way they can avoid down power lines.